Hello there. So I've got a cracker of a deal to run through today. Board two of the Andrew Robson Bridge online duplicate on BBO. So these clips are aimed at the very much the more experienced club player. So if you're finding these a bit daunting, then lots of things on offer. Supervised practice on bridge, uh, on real bridge every morning and afternoon during the week, and also my daily bridge cast instructional videos for various different levels of player. So here we are. East deals and has a classic three heart opener. And no qualms about three hearts given the favourable vulnerability. South's not going to do anything. West clearly raising to four hearts. There's a ten card heart fit. West has a pretty good hand. May make, may steal, clear to bid. North's not going to be talked out though. North has only 11 high card points but a very, very good shape. Take out double. And now South is going to take out the take out double to four no trump. Logically, that must be pick a minor partner. What else could it be? Can't be asking for aces when there's no suit agreed and it can't really involve spades because if South had spades, South would have bid four spades. So pick a minor. West is going to go five hearts though because West realises the opponents are about to settle in five clubs. Looks like five clubs may make looking at West's hand and looks like five hearts will be a cheap save. Close decision though because West may have three defensive tricks against five clubs. Uh, two major suit aces and a diamond, but the ace of hearts may not live. Five hearts looks a reasonable sacrificial bid to me. North's going to pass. East is going to pass. And now close decision for South as to whether or not to double or to try six clubs. Possibly at the table one would double on the grounds that six clubs could easily be a bridge too far. Uh, and in any event, five hearts double could be worth more than the value of game. It's a close decision. But if South reads partner to have a heart void, which seems likely, West with three hearts for their five heart bid, East with seven for their preempt, then facing a heart void, South does have a pretty promising hand. Anyway, six clubs is fun to play. So let's say South does bid six clubs. West certainly not going to bid on and won't double because uh, if six clubs is going down, then West is going to get a good result anyway. So six clubs. West leading. Now, I think West should lead the ace of spades because that ace is very likely to live, whereas the ace of hearts may get roughed, as is the case here. So ace of spades to the queen. And now the strongest defence, believing that queen to be singleton, is to switch to the queen of diamonds because that really does tamper with declarer's flexible communication in diamonds. And it's totally safe to switch to the queen there because West has the nine, which means that the switch to the queen hasn't cost West their natural trick. If West diamonds were queen jack low, then the queen of diamonds could could give Declarer the whole suit. Declarer can win the king and then run the 10 should Declarer have king 10, 9. So queen jack 9, totally safe. Now Declarer, we're going to win this carefully in our hands. We want to keep the ace of diamonds in the dummy. In the end game, we've got a sort of embryo of a plan forming whereby we may be able to squeeze west in, in diamonds and spades, perhaps. Certainly we're going to rough a heart now. And now we're going to see what's happening in spades. Cashing the king of spades, throwing a diamond away, not a heart, because we're going to rough the hearts. And now we're going to lead another spade. And the spade split is revealed, and East throws away their diamond, for obvious reasons, hoping to rough. So we rough the spade. So now let us... Just pause. We know quite a lot about the hand. Assuming that 
discard is East's last diamond, otherwise why would East throw a diamond? That means East's shape initially was assuming seven hearts for the three heart bid. Seven, two, two, two. Seven hearts, two spades, two diamonds, assuming that's East's second diamond, and therefore two clubs, which means that uh, West's shape, six spades, that's known, three hearts, three diamonds, and therefore only one club. And that, that makes sense. That justifies West's five heart bit, having a singleton club there. OK, so we're going to proceed on that basis. And we are in our hand and we've got to rough another heart. We're going to rough it with a jack, actually. Not because we're going to get over rough, but just because we want to retain lower clubs to get to our hand. And now you see what we've got to do is we've got to come to our hand in clubs. We've then got to rough the king of hearts. And then we've got to come to our hand in clubs and run clubs. So we've got to essentially make a big decision at this point. Because if we come to our ace of clubs and West Singleton is low rather than the queen, we won't be able to come to our hand conveniently again after roughing the heart. So we'll play the two to one odds that the hand with the two clubs has the queen and we'll take what appears to be an unnecessary finesse, but it's not. So we're going to finesse the ten of clubs or the nine of clubs. Few, OK. And now we're going to rough the heart with the king, but it wouldn't have mattered actually because we could have overtaken the king on this next round. Now we're going to lead dummy's remaining club, picking up east queen, winning the ace. And now we're going to run the clubs and the plan or the hope is to squeeze west in spades and diamonds. So penultimate club, west can still afford a spade. But what does West discard when we lead the last club? If West throws the jack of spades, dummy's nine of spades is promoted. So West has to throw away a diamond. And now we can release dummy's nine of spades. It served its purpose. And we're going to get a beer as well, because if you win the last trick with a seven of diamonds, everybody buys you a beer. So we better unblock the 10, taking West's jack with the ace, and lo and behold, the beer card, the seven of diamonds, wins the last trick. And we have made it, which is rather amazing. West made it tough for us by switching to the queen of diamonds there at trick two. It meant we had to do this club finesse to make it. But what fun. As I say, in the real world, it would have been tempting for South to have doubled the five hearts. But it's only three down. It's, it's only 500 points, five hearts double. It's not as much as a North-South game, let alone slam. Hope you enjoyed the deal. See you all very soon. Bye.